Hey guys, it's Rachel here and I'm quite late doing my video today. It's nearly five, uh, about 4.30, 5 o'clock and today it is day 27 and it's inspired by old photographs or pictures. Well, we've kind of done something similar to that before, um, but anyway, we'll do it and um and it was by calm dell and now someone did ask me um if i would say beforehand what i was doing and what materials i was using i, I can't do that because uh, i could tell you the theme but i can't tell you what i'm using because i decide before i do the video so i don't decide my projects like the day before because i'm hopeless so today I thought um, I might, I saw, no, I can't remember who I saw. I was going to re-watch the video, but I've been doing other stuff today. Um, it was an Aussie. I'll, write, I'll put the video in the description box. And she recycled um, Nespresso boxes. And she made belly bands, or they could be long, tall tags or bookmarks. And um, I thought that was a great idea because we've got those. Um, if you didn't have these, you just chop up your packaging um, into this sort of thing. I'll t I can tell you the measurements. It doesn't really matter what the measurements are, but they are about one and a half inches by eight and a half inches. That's how I cut them down. So I thought I would do some belly bands or long tags. And so it's an inspired by old photographs or pictures. So what I did was I printed out um, smaller, nine to a page, but I made it at 92%, I think. Um, these are from the New York Public Library Digital Collection. So I printed out these florals. And then I also printed out um, some of my antique postcards and photographs because I thought I'd use those. I've got my stamps out. Um... And I, thought, I got these new stamps the other day that I'd like to use. I'm going to do a bit of stamping, these cool ones. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I haven't pulled anything out. I've got no idea. But what I'm going to do is collage on here like um, she did. And I'll call her she, the cat's mother. Excuse not to be rude, um, just because I can't remember who I watched. It's a new person that I found through sophie's notes now i don't know why Faye, um, i i i asked to be on sophie's notes to susie because she runs it i think she does um and um i don't know why but facebook doesn't show me um when there's new posts so i had a bit of a binge look the other day because i remembered because i forget um and um and i came across this lovely lady and she's an aussie well, no, I don't know if she's an Aussie. She sounded a bit Aussie in one video, and then the other video she sounded a bit English, so I'm not quite sure. I'm telling, I'm making things up. So anyway, I'm going to do some collage things. I'm going to cover up this background. I've got some of those things left. Oh, my fingers are a bit dirty because I've been um, I've been making book pay. I, I gave Lulu the job. She wanted to do some work for me, and, and she wants to buy some things on the internet, so that's the deal. Um, if she wants to buy superfluous things that I feel like aren't necessary, um, then she has to do a little bit of work. And then I couldn't help myself but help her. <laughs> so, And thank goodness I did because otherwise the poor thing would have been totally overwhelmed. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we've been making, um, um, you know, bundles. So I'm just going to stick that down. I've got no idea today. I've, I feel exhausted got a sore back from doing that so um i had to lie down for a minute and so that's why i'm so late but anyway we'll see what comes of it might maybe something or maybe nothing maybe we'll just i wish i could i should have looked it up well i could tell you just a minute i can go into my um what's it called history just hold your horses and then i'll i'll whiz down because i i watched quite a few videos yesterday um kind of watched and uh, no not her um getting there um just a minute not oh i hear witchcraft do you do witchcraft do you do but i don't know the lady's name but i'm certainly going to subscribe she's wonderful she does lovely things and um and lovely to listen to i thought so yes so that's who i watched to get this idea so i'm not really not quite sure maybe i'll choose an image 
and I'll have to trim it down. I'll have to, I probably could have printed them out a bit smaller. So inspired by a picture, well, a picture to me can be a photograph or a picture, you know, like a painting picture or a, or a photo, uh, like, I don't know, any kind of picture really. So um, I thought, figured these would be okay. And I haven't decided whether I want to fussy cut these or just put them on like that. I might put them on like that. They're just the right size, but I think I'm going to, I really am dying to use these. This is, what is this, a six? Um, I'll grab this one. So I've got my inks out ready. And I thought I might like to use this one, um, the pine cone colour. Let me see how it stands. Is that meant to happen? I think it is meant to happen. Okay, good. Actually, I might stamp it onto something else. Just a minute. Maybe in this little piece of Tracy Fox. And then I might cut it out. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I can't um, pre. -t I can pre-tell you the theme, but I can't tell you what I'm going to do because I decide that at the last minute because I'm a last-minute person. And I wasn't. Tell I hadn't published the list of the theme of the of what we would what um, I was doing because it was like not just nice to have the element of surprise. I thought so. That I'm liking that, but I have to find something else to go. Here we go. We always need a bit of this. Who can guess? So then which craft did you do? She overhung everything. And they were lovely what she did. Um, she overhung. Everything was overhanging and then she just trimmed it off. I do like this. And it'll probably, a lot of it, be covered up. That can go there. We'll go there. Um, what else will we put on there? Got lots of scraps, lots of um, sort of ephemera sort of stuff printed. It. Well, not that much. I've been using it actually quite a bit. I quite like that one actually. Put that there. Oh, no, that, I wasn't using that. That's going to go there. I still need a bit more. I think I, I want that one up there. Oh, that's a six. I've got that round the wrong way, don't I? What a ding dong. Maybe at an angle. That at an angle. Not that angle. The other angle. Something down here. Um, well, there's not really much point in tearing it, is there? Maybe top and bottom. Put that there. Okay, I think I might move this one here. That's going to go there, so I can glue that down. I didn't even remember ordering ordering these um ordering these um stamps. I I probably ordered them back in February or January, probably in January, because they take a long time to arrive. So we're recycling today, doing a bit of a recycle, bit of a recycle. Okay, so I'm going to trim that off. Just trimming along the edge of the cardboard. And But I'm not done yet. I feel like I'll probably need to put something else on there because, you know. Okay. Oh, I like that. It's so cool. 
I really like that. I don't know about anybody else, but I do. Um, let's see. It's a bit out, you know, it's something I haven't done before, so I have to sort of um and ah about it a little bit. A little bit of umming and ahhing going on. Um, we'll have a little bit of that. Yes, and I'll trim it off. And I'll tell you what else I've got that I hardly ever use that I should use that are already, I'll just fold that over, that are already done, if I can find them. Just let me hop up. As you can see, like, I struggle to even, oh, I've got all these bits of ephemera to use. I struggle to even um, prepare my stuff before I turn the video on. And I know that annoys some people. But, you know, I'm just, I just can't pre-organise myself. It's just a difficult thing. Well, they, I love um, Shabby Dabby's things for this sort of thing too. And Shabby Dabby. I shouldn't say that. Lovely Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. So words are good on here, but I was also thinking, and I have a whole lot torn up somewhere. I was thinking some of these nice stamped bits and pieces might be good as well. Let's pull a few out. And, and I'm sure I did these in a video with you guys quite a while ago. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at those little mushrooms. They're from Makey Stamps. Um... Yeah, we, oh, I think we did this, maybe I, I don't remember when I did these, maybe I did them when um, I was doing the 3 and 30 minutes, I can't remember. That's no surprise. Okay, got those, but I think I've also got some others that I did, I think I know where they are, they're here. These, look, I've got these as well. Um, I might need to put a stamp these stamps from a lady no, you can't really see it can't really see those I need something a bit more colorful I like these stamps that are have not been taken off their Background. What about a maybe a purple stamp? No, not really. No, I'm not liking the stamps. Okay, let's see what else. I already did that one. I need something not too big. Oh, I think I like that. And I might put... I'll just grab it. It's right here. I don't have to go far. I'm just going to grab some tea-dyed cheesecloth. Am I recording? Yes. Um, let's see if I can separate the layers. There we go. I might put a little bit of this. Oh, here's this. We'll use these scissors. Okay. Whoopsie. Oh, these are fun. I'm having fun doing these. And, and then I can decide whether I want to stitch on them or not. They're all pretty well glued down. So this is really a no-sew for the moment. It's a no-sew video. And I might try a, a Tina. A Tina um, label. A number label. Really like these. A 
I think it's nice sometimes just using the packaging because it gives you it already gives you a shape if you know what I mean like you don't have to work anything out you just cut it and you get this nice shape that you have to work with put that there could put that there could put that there where do I like it the best put it there oh no maybe we'll have the number down there no maybe there no. I don't want it straight. Everything's crooked. Yes. And of course, we can use our um, Tracy Fox ones as well. There we go. And that's the first one done. And I am really, really, really liking that. I will say that. And here, let's do another one. And I, I mean, that was my first one. I hope, I hope, I do hope, I might become a little bit faster at doing them. Because I'm sort of, as I said, guessing, umming and ahhing and second guessing what I'm doing. Okay, so we might have a bit of this. Might just stick that on there. So I think I'll put some glue on this. And the reason why I'm putting the glue on here, when I stick down that piece, and I probably don't want quite that much because I am going to put other stuff. The reason why I put the glue on there is so that when I go and cut it, um, I don't get glue all over my scissors, but I'll cut it afterwards. You don't need to cut it now. Oh, and let's choose an image. So I think the first rule of thumb will be to choose an image and don't glue yourself to it. So why don't we choose, I'm gonna choose this postcard. So behind her, I probably want to have, a, a, you know, little bits and pieces of colour. Yeah, I, I get, I know I said it before, but I do apologise if I, if I don't, if I'm not, I'm just not organised enough to, um, um, yeah, to have my ideas before I start. Oh dear, my brain just doesn't function. Okay, that's that. Now I want a bit of something behind her. Oh, we'll have a bit of blue. might go there yeah I'm gonna like that maybe um, and it's an, oh this is a nice scrap so it's a good way to use up your scraps okay and actually I need I'll tell you what else I need I need more scraps. I need these scraps as well. Because you can use these things and these and maybe some of the green recycled grid paper. Put that up there. Put that up there. And I might attach my lady her that way. I will end up getting a bit of glue all over on my scissors. Put her there. And then I think I might no, first I'm gonna I'm, I am gonna do another number, I think. Might do five. Put there, five. Let's do five. I think I'm always going to use the same sort of colour. And this time, okay. I think so I'm back. My um, I think my phone filled up. I forgot to empty out yesterday's videos, so apologise for that. And I, I changed my mind with the colour. I'm going to use this one. Might even put it at an angle. Oh yeah, I like that. And 
do I need anything else? Probably need to turn my page around so I'm getting glue everywhere. Okay, I've got to relax my back a bit because it's aching. No. Just seeing if I want anything else. I might like... Um, where did they go? Oh, here. These are so nice, these stamps. Just trying to see which way is up. Put that there. And I want to see where those out. I do. Oh, I like that color. that up there. Mm. Interesting. I want that there. Oh, no, I think I liked it up there even though I'm covering that. I don't care. I might not put it too, too high just in case I need to um trim it down and I'm just going to trim off the sides here and see what it looks like see if I'm happy with it so I will link the video in the description box that I watched for the original ones of these so you can go and have a look there's some other lovely tutorials there as well. I think I really like that. I'm happy with that. So there's the first two. Aren't they fun? Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Right. Decisions. Decisions are the worst. So I'll just stamp that away and put that away. So I think the numbers are going to go on pretty much all of them. I think they are. Okay. So let's choose an... Uh, yeah, let, no, let's stick down something first and then we'll choose an image. Put my ephemera here. Let's put down something pink. Let's tear it off and stick it on. even just wrap that one around there we go that's good and then I'll just stick that one down there I might even put it on that way why don't we put it on that way As it's sticky, I'm going to fold that one over too just to get it out of the way. Oh, there's a big blob of glue on there. Just get it out of the way. Although I do like the surprise of it overhanging and then you go and trim it off and then you and then you see like what it actually looks like. And then um, what else do I want? Piece of this. There. No, um, no, I had thought of something and now I've forgotten. I want to choose my image. Okay. So cute, that little girl and dog. 1901, I think that one is. Mm. 
we'll do another floral a floral picture what color did i do last time purple let's do this So if you didn't have, um, like, oh, obviously if it's for your own personal use, you could make these and then scan them and then you've got them again. But you couldn't sell them if you haven't got, if you've got things on there that you can't scan and sell. For example, like stamps, you can't scan and sell stamps unless they're old stamps, you know, like old sort of um, antique stamps that were used in business. You could do that. Um but like not no not makey stamps and i mean that's from aliexpress i don't know about theirs but um yeah you wouldn't um do stamps and then scan them but if everything's public domain you could certainly scan them actually be fun to have a kit of um belly bands Let's put that on. Okay, put that there. And maybe put a little bit up here. A bit of this maybe. No. Yeah, I might, I might like that up there. I mean, you do cover up bits that you like, but it's all for the greater good. It doesn't really matter. It's your project, so you just cover up what you want and, um, and then just see what happens. A little bit like that sideways to change direction I think I need to change my blue book page what else do I want I mean it's really easy just to sort of sit there and keep using reusing the same things that you've already used because you like them I like that. Down here. That there. I think I like that down here. And obviously I would never scan anything that had somebody else's printed digi on it. Um, no, because that's um, quite, I'm just talking about this. I'm just going to lean over a second and grab one of my antique stamps. Um, so I quite often get asked, oh, you could scan that. Well, I could as long as I'm not using things that somebody else's. Um, I'm just trying to think if... Uh, and of course on these I've used Tracy's paper, I've used Tina's, um, I've used Tina's um, labels, so yeah, there's a limit to what I can do with it. Let's see how this goes. Oh, didn't do a very good job, did I? That's going to be a mess, I'll have to do that again. I can do it again, find another piece of paper, just a sec. And this one. I've got green. Let's add a little bit of tea dyed. Let's try and stamp it again. 19, 26. Is there something under there that's bothering me? No, 
push harder. There we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm just going to stick that down. Oh, I am. Thank you, witchcraft, do you do for this wonderful idea. I'm going to keep my, keep my um, Nespresso things when I have them. Okay, now I'm going to trim it off. What a fun. I love these ones where you just snip it off and then you get the surprise. I said that before, but just wanted to reiterate it. I think this, this you know who does um, lovely long um, tags is Sharon Hearth. She makes beautiful things. And um, I love her long tags. And this is a fun way to do those too. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want anything. So I'm going to back this one. I'm going to, no, this one's lumpy bumpy. Because this one's where the, the, the box was glued together. So I won't. That one's just going to be a belly band. But the next one, let's see. Yep, this one will become... This will become a tag. I'll just change my book page over. I'll just fold it. Yep, I'm not too concerned about that. It's very brittle, this paper. Very brittle. Right, I'm going to glue this down. So I'm not going to fold this over. I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, then let's grab some ephemera. Put a piece of this on up there. Just tear some off. This is just from an old Italian newspaper. And it's from the, the back the back of it. Put some tea dyed paper there like that. Put that there and then I want to choose an image. I think I'm going to do another I'll do one of these. We've got six, so we'll do three florals and three or postcards or photographs. And I'll snip that off. So I like trying new things. I might do Leonardo. Leonardo and we're gonna have we'll have to have a bit of Florentine paper here somewhere but I need to put something else down first what will I put down first I like all these old checks too that's going to be covered but that's not going to be covered And I want it at a slight angle. I don't want everything going straight. And then that can go like that. But I think I want to put something. I think I'll put that up there. Do I want something like this on there? Maybe a little piece of this. Now, these I've been asked about these doilies. These doilies, I bought them on Amazon. And they, um, they're just recycled. They haven't... They haven't been treated or bleached. I don't know what they do to make, you know, paper white. Um, yeah, they're just natural colour, which I really like. I keep forgetting to wet my towel, so I've got a nice wet towel to clean my fingers. Mm, I need to get my card.
use my card. I've got sticky fingers. Okay, now I'm going. No, I'm not. I'm not going to trim it off yet. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to stamp. Now I do have some other stamps here. Let's just see what else I have. Just a second. I've got this one. Maybe we could have this. I haven't used this yet. Now where's my block gone? Where have you gone? Come back. Oh, there you are. And I think I like this one stands out more. I'm going to use this one. I like to test it first. Okay. What does this say? Oh, I like more. No. Yeah, I think I like the secondary one first. So I'll stamp it there. And then I'm going to stamp it there. Yeah. That's good. I think I might need to stamp something else. I know. I know. I'm going to stamp the squiggles. Yeah, why not? Okay. Otherwise, I mean, I've got all of my stamps all organized. Oh, and here we've got some of that um, sort of tea spray. So why don't, or coffee, not tea spray, but you know what I mean. That, yeah. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this here and there. Like it's, you know, it's been dribbled on. Oh, that didn't do anything, did it? I like these. I really like them. Just put them everywhere. There we go. Okay, then we need... Let's have a look at Tracy's wonderful labels that just have to go everywhere. They have to go in every single spot. So... Yes. Oh, we could, you know, you could put these stickers on here too. Oh. Well, I'm going to use one of those in the next one. I don't want one of these big ones. I want one of these small ones. What colour do I think I would like? Oh. We'll give it a trim and see if we like it somewhere. We may like what Tina's because it's um, more, they're, they're more bold. I better check I'm recording. Yes. Yes, I think I hadn't um, emptied out yesterday's videos so um and there were quite a few of them but they weren't that long but the the iphone says no more you need to get rid of the ones before yep that's it and then we're going to give it a trim and then we're going to make it into a long up there or there and no, i liked it there okay and we're going to make it into a long tag so let's just glue this uh, glue trim this off Oh yeah, I really like I like it when you trim them down and then they become all neat and oh I like them. Okay, so I'm gonna put what am I gonna put in the back? I think I'll put um just some I've got coffee dyed paper here. I look it would just glue on there. It's not long enough. It won't glue on there. I was gonna glue it in between. I've got some got I've got other, another piece here, this will do. So I'll glue it down. And what you could do is just glue a whole lot in a row, stitch around them, and all in one hit. So you get a nice long tag. Oh, and I glued it on there. It doesn't matter. 
I'm just going to put it on that way anyway. So, so I'm just going to flip that over and run my card over. Make sure it flattens. Getting glue everywhere today. It's mad. I'll do another one like that. So I'll cover that up. Okay. So we have one tag. It's, but you can see I've, I had nothing on my table and I'm now in a complete mess because it's just one of those things where I feel like I need to have a whole lot of different options out on my table. And so I become very messy when I do these sorts of things. To give my scissors a clean. So as of tomorrow, we're allowed to go for a walk. Individual walks is what they said. Individual walks. Um, we, I, I'm assuming that means by ourselves, obviously. Um, this one can be. This one can be a tag as well. And. What will I start with? Because I got my stamps out as well. I didn't. I need to put some of this down. I think I'm going to put it down. I won't put that much down because then I'll end up covering it up. Just pick things up and stick it down. What else do I have? Oh, that's Tim Hots. We don't want that. It's all right. You don't. I don't think you really want to use. Well, I don't. You don't really want to use like scrapbooking paper because it's already very thick so only things that are printed on or are not too thick sort of papers put that there what do we have over here did I do last time I did that one so it's flower time now a bit. I need something else down here. Oh no, I don't want it in the middle. I think I'll move it down there. Or up there. I don't know. Maybe we'll put another number on. There. Three. Put that over there. Okay, that's that way it goes, but I need to, I think I might put some of this paper here. Okay. 
okay. Put that at an angle because we want things at an angle in this project. Don't want everything going straight. Oh, look, look what I just did. I dipped my arm into the ink. Excuse you. Close the ink. And I think I'm going to keep this down a bit lower because I'm going to um, just give that a wipe, even though it's not wet. The thing. Now, <laughs> now I look like I burnt myself. I didn't. Okay, so I put that. Maybe, but um, I want to stamp. Now, what am I going to stamp? I'm going to stamp a piece of uh, something. I'm going to stamp a piece of Tracy paper. I liked that. Tracy Fox from Love Junk Journals. That's what a Tracy paper is. Just tear a piece. Like so. I'll stamp it. Put it there. Where's my stamp? Got to make sure it's going in the right direction. That's how the three is, isn't it? Yes. There we go. Did it. And I'm going to cut that out. Just as opposed to all the tearing that's been going on, we're going to cut it. Then I still need something else. I might put a shabby, shabby dabby doo da. stick that there so we oh I dirtied it we had sassy Lulu yesterday so she didn't know what to do with herself so she reverted back to her childhood and she made herself a tent over her bed with sheets and um, and so we went in I went in to see after a while, she'd been under her tent in her bed watching a video for quite a while. And I I um, hopped in. Well, she booted me out. She's like, get, you're ruining my tent. Get out. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, when you were little, you begged me to come in your tent. Now you don't want me in your tent. I love that. It's a shame about the dirty fingers. If I find, I, I'll print out another one and just stick it over the top. So I got booted out. Poor mummy. Oh, I know. I was going to make that a tag. Just a sec. So I better get rid of this because that's just dirtying things. I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to put the glue on here. So I don't glue my paper like I did last time because I'm a ding dong. Yep, booted out. Wasn't impressed. When she said, well, mum, times have changed. Not that I wanted to stay in there more than a few minutes, but I thought it was really funny. And her dad wasn't even allowed in. He got booted out before he even, he didn't even get in there. He was sent away, sent packing. So this, I would, um, I don't know whether I, I don't know whether I will stitch around it. Well, I probably would do, I wouldn't do a zigzag because the zigzag would take up all of that space and then you'd have hardly any, and you'd probably write on it that way. 
um, but I think they're fun. There we go. Really fun. Oh, I've still got how many more? Oh, heaps. So many. Oh, I'm not going to do all of those. I'll do how many have I done? I've done five. I'll do one more. So I've got one, two, three flowers. What fun are they? Okay, so we have to choose another image. And I've probably got a cut image here somewhere in my mess. In my mess. Mm, can't see it. What will I choose? Choose. I love my lady in the snow. I love the lady in the snow. And the look at. I mean, look how beautiful that place is. So, yeah, from one box, obviously, there's four sides, so you get eight. Good one, Rachel. Think about it. I might put my glue on here. I am gluing well because I probably, well, yeah, I might decide to stitch on them, but I might not. I'm so sure I want book page. I don't even see where I want it to go. I think I might have it shooting up there a little bit. And then might have some of this old newspaper like that. Oh, I might put it up higher. And then what else do I want? Oh, I'll put some of this on here. That's a good scrap. Put it there. Now, I'm going to put my lady, I'm going to put her right in the centre. I think I'll put her there. Okay. And then, just let me see, move all these things out of the way for a minute. Now, I wanted to see, I want to stamp on it, I think. I don't know if I want to do that stamp. Put that over there. Now, let me just have a think. I might want to put... One of those stamps on there. I'll keep those. I'll do those another day. Feeling tired today. Love that bird. I'm just going to cut the bird for a second and see if I like the bird. I do like the bird. Maybe I'll put the bird at an angle. I moved my glue to the right and I couldn't find it. Do I want a little bit? 
bit of anything. Well, I don't think so. I might like a um, Shabby Dabby Doodah label, but I'm just going to trim it down. Or I might like a Tracy label. really like that idea of putting them down and then um, trimming it and then you and then you don't know what you're going to get That's going somewhere there, 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 between the two of them. Okay, and then I'm done. So belly bands, side tucks, or or long tags. So there's that one. Let me see if I'm still recording and you can see. Yep. Okay, so there's that one. So these are the three. Um, with the photos or pictures, love them. Really happy with those. Put them there so you can see. And then these are the three with the flowers. So there's that one, that one, and that one. What fun! Thank you so much. Witchcraft, do you do for such a wonderful idea? Absolutely loved it, and love the idea of recycling. So yep. Yeah. Really happy with that. So that's my interpretation of a photograph or picture because this to me is a picture as well. So I didn't know whether that meant like photograph or any kind of thing. So I've got both. I've got both. There we go. Very happy with that. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And go and check out Which Craft Do You Do? Because she's got some really great videos. And I may do some, of, some other projects from her channel too because they are really amazing. Um, so yep, go and show her some love and I will see you again soon. Bye.